I just get up and go. I'm very happy with the way things went. Well, now that I have had my family and we've had a good married life, I don't feel too bad. I'm pretty good about it. Did you really enjoy grandkids? I did. I enjoyed my grandchildren. Like I say, I'm glad. I'd rather have my grandchildren first because you could. <laughs> but that's what the life is all about. Yeah. What about your garden? How much has that meant to you over the years? That meant a lot to me because we grew up with the garden and the garden was from the doorstep right to the back. I had raspberry canes and I had strawberries. And we even had a cherry tree. I like to work in the garden, outside. Yeah, I love my gardening and in the winter time I do a lot of cross stitching and crocheting and knitting. I made five, five scarves for the handicapped. I suppose on the Christmas tree at Christmas time and I would give them to the poor. I'm fine, how are you? Good, good. What's he got you doing? <laughs> well, he was looking at the cross stitch. Mm. This is the one your mother has spoken for. She's a dear girl. What's it like seeing your your daughter become a, a grandma. Well, it kind of stops and stops you in the tracks for a minute or a second or two. Oh, <laughs> well, great grandma, great great grandma, my mother had 48 great grandchildren. And then the great great grandchildren started to come. I think we lost track somewhere along the line. It's five and a half years. Yeah. yeah, it's been a rough few five years. But we have to keep plowing along. You miss Grandpa? There's days I get out of the house so and I don't see the four walls and see where he's been sitting in that. It still hits you. You can't help but help it hits you. Being married nearly 55 years, over 50 years. Mm -hmm. Do you like being out in the shop now? Does it kind it of remind you? It doesn't bother me so much as it did in the beginning. Oh, did it? But uh, I, I'd rather be in the shop when he was gone because I knew he had, this was his life in here. Because this is where he was every day. He was still in there. Oh, I've seen you kids playing downstairs. Making a uh, thing in the uh, library in one thing or another. And when the rest of the kids came along, I played with them. I made choo choo trains with all those blocks, remember? I had to play with them. I played, went to the park to play ball with you guys. But the one thing you did when you were not, you were what, a year old? Or, yeah, you were in the playpen. And you were, didn't like gravel. And neither the grass. But I looked out the window and there was no Scott in my playpen. And I went to see Grandpa and I says, where's Scott? I don't know. <laughs> you know where you were? You crawled all the way to the front yard on the gravel. We didn't have those bricks in there then. <laughs> We've been here on this yard since 54. That's 56 years ago. We all, all went a different direction, all right, but they all are settling in. 
and that settles me down too. I think the kids are all doing fine.